Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work. And in this video, we are checking out the SE of VISPA, which stands for WASP in Spanish, and then the Zancudo, which stands for Mosquito in Spanish. Now, these probably look very similar to another knife you might know very well in the knife community, except for these are a frame lock. And the knife I'm talking about is the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. And it's because they're the same designer. And if you look at the words, Randall's Adventure Training, R-A-T, it, you know, it starts making sense. Now, these are around the same price. I've seen them around 35, 40 bucks. This is the OS 8 version, both of these. And if you look how it says 1301 right there, the 1302s are in D2. So they also come in D2 a lot like the Rat 1 or Rat 2. So, and these are the same size as those knives. The big one is eight and a half inches, while the small one is seven inches. The blade on this one is three and a half inches. The blade on the smaller one is three inches. The same thing as the Rat 1 and 2. And if you want to look at it really quick, we will just quickly compare the sizes. But I don't have the Rat 2 available, so let's just do the CJRB mini Feldspar. Basically the same size. So there you go. And if you don't know the CJRB mini Feldspar, you should. No, I'm just joking. I don't know. Um, but... It's a very common size for a smaller knife, 3 inch, 3.5 inch, full size knife, medium size knife, or smaller knife, whatever you want to call it. Now, like I was saying before, these are frame lock versions, which makes these very different than the rats. But before we really get into these, I want to thank Lavender Pants 86 for being such a supporter of our channel for so long. I honestly can't remember before he was supporting us. He's supported us since the beginning of our channel. And if you don't know who that is, he's a massive supporter of the knife community in general. He is a supporter of a lot of channels, not just ours. And if you don't know who he is, you should, because, um, I mean, one, he's just been a massive influence to our channel. And, you know, with the knife community, he is definitely a um, a massive supporter of the community and just does a lot of good in the community. So thank you, bud. We love you and we appreciate everything and all you've done for our channel and for just being such an awesome friend. So this knife, you know, I, I haven't had as much time as I would like to admit, <laughs> I, you know, and just being honest, you know, I, I haven't I've cut with them a little bit. I have. I've carried them a little bit, but not really. Not much. Not enough to do a real, real review. So I'm going to do as good as I can with what I have. And I'm just being honest. I don't want to tell you guys, I, you know, stuff about a knife that I really haven't. I've had them for a little while, but I just haven't been carrying them. They're, they're, to me, there's just other knives that wind up in the pocket before these. And let me go over the reasons why. Now, I just want to say I do like the knife. I think they are solid knives. I mean, this thing is rock solid. I love all the standoffs. I mean, these things are, I mean, you see all the standoffs. They are very solid. The stop pins, very nice big stop pin. I love that. I also love that about the rats. And they're solid knives. The action super smooth on this big one this big one is very very smooth it's not like false shutty or anything but i mean for washers this thing is pretty awesome i can reverse flick it thumb flick it the slow roll is super nice this one's detent is stronger but you know you can reverse flick it so it's a little more snappier kind of like the rat too almost in a way i wouldn't say it's detent is stronger but it's super snappy compared to the rat one and that's kind of the same deal here um the lock bar strength is a little stronger on the little guy but this oh, man 
Another thing I really like about these is their blade shape. They have a great blade shape. The blade shape works really good for a lot of things. You can get to the tip pretty easily. No, it's not a very acute tip, but it's a nice, strong, durable tip that you could definitely do, you know, cuts with that you would do with any other tip. It has a little bit of belly for your slicing and a long, nice area for your push cuts. Just a great blade shape. A spear point blade shape is super, super useful. And since they have the ergos that they have, you can get up nice and close to that blade. The choil here, I like the choil, and the reason why is because this is repeatable very easily. Even if you sharpen this all the way away and there's no choil left, you can easily put a new one on there. I mean, you can use a file, you can use a Dremel, and you can do it in seconds. So it's something that even if you added your own, it would still look the exact same as the way it comes from the factory. And that, that's awesome to me. The geometry is really good too. It's nice and thin. Its slice is very good. I did cut with them a little bit. This one I actually sharpened and it took a nasty, nasty edge. Now, or how about nasty? Took a good edge, took a decent edge. I wouldn't call it nasty, but, <laughs> but it's a good edge. The clips on them, they work great in and out of the pocket. They work fine. Um, the Ergos, it's a thin knife. It's very thin, especially compared to the Rat. I mean, it's just a thin knife. So it's a little sharp in the hand. You know, yeah, the shape is really good, the neutral grip, but you don't have the leverage that I think you would want in uh, a strong build like this and that's where the rat one is a little bit more superior i mean it just has better ergos the ergos on the rat one is amazing so it makes sense for the build so that's where this one just shines over these now i like the blade shape on these ones a little bit better because the tip is a little bit lower than the the rat one so you know, I do like that a little bit more, but it's very, very similar. It's very, very similar either way. So, the let's talk about some bad things really quick. So, let's just get them off the table. So, like I was saying before, the ergos aren't very good. It's kind of sharp in the hand, meaning it's just thin. So, the metal is just, you know, when you bear down on it, it's not comfortable. The... The little one is the same way, and the lock bar strength on the little one is pretty sharp to unlock. It starts getting annoying because it is a very, I mean, it's not horrible, meaning like it's not like painful just to do it once or twice, but you keep doing this all day. If you had to use your knife, you're going to have a mark on your finger. It's going to start getting very annoying. I like that they put the cutout for the lock bar on the inside, but it's just you know, for a small teardrop shaped handle. I like that about it, but it's so thin, which if you like very thin knives and, you know, and the rat one is just too thick for you or the rat two is too thick, then this might be up your alley. But, you know, T6s, I don't like T6s. Um, I like that they used a four-way reversible pocket clip. You can put it any way you want, but you know, D2, uh, or D2 and OS 8, I should say. I feel like these knives are, it's kind of hard to explain because they are solid, solid knives. But today's knife market is amazing. What you can get for the same price, I feel like these are got, these guys are getting left behind. I mean, let's look at another knife in the same price point. We have 14C28N, all steel, frame lock knife from Rake. Same price point. We also have the Able Lock that, you know, makes it to where it won't close on your hands if you're really doing something strong. Ball bearings, um, deep carry clip. Better ergos, solid, solid knife. I mean, now you can also look at the CJRBs. 
I mean, 35 bucks. You know, I mean, it's you're getting G10 too instead of plastic. This is FRN or GFN or whatever that material is called. This is actually G10, very solid. Now, this is probably a lot stronger than this, but with the ergos you're getting from this, you're you're not going to be doing too much crazy stuff with you know with it because it just doesn't have the ergos for it. So it, it doesn't make sense to be as thin as it is for the strength of the build. Now, I guess with gloves you could say, but I don't know. It's I just feel like it's kind of getting left behind. Aus eight, get out of here. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with Aus eight. Aus eight is a solid steal for. 15 bucks in my opinion i think it's it's for gas station knives in 2021 come on i mean we're getting 14c28n d2 which you can get these in d2 but i'm just saying for the same price as these ones you you can get better steels these days and better materials all the way around so i just feel like these are these are kind of getting left in the dust and with the ontario rat rat one and rat two these are almost, you know, it just doesn't, uh, there's no reason to have them. Um, like, I like them. I do. I think they're solid knives. Uh, um, but they just seem like an old knife to me. They seem like a knife that was once good, but times moved on and it was left behind. Um, there, like I said, there is some good, but there's just more bad than good. And not saying it's a bad knife. It's just there are so much better knives. Like I can get a, uh, a Sencut Actium in D2, G10, deep carry clip, steel liners with amazing action, uh, ceramic bearings, ceramic detent, amazing geometry for basically the same price. You know, why would I buy this when I can get that? And there's a lot more examples than just that. So, with that being said, I I think it's a solid knife, and if you own one and you love it, that's I can see why. I I really can. I mean, it's a very smooth, solid build of a knife, and it does scream knife. I like that about it. You know, that's what it is, and that's what it does, and it does that well. But the materials just don't match up with today's market. I love you guys. Thank you, pants. Peace.